Hey folks, it's Grimwit from NatEvil.com, and a uh, real quick note, uh, this is my test world. I am testing different facilities and things. Uh, for example, this particular building is dedicated to uh, brewing speed potions. Well, speed 2 potions. Splash speed 2 potions. Lots of experiments being done here at uh, Grim Labs, and uh, one of them I wanted to share with you this is a technique I caught from Read It, although I cannot remember who created the technique. Uh, sorry for whoever you are. This is not my invention. This is just something I wanted to try out. And I did. Basically, this is called Instant Ruins. See these? I did not build these. I grew them. And I'm going to show you how. Get out of my life, duck! Get out of my life, duck! Uh, we need some good room, about uh, maybe a 6x6 six six area. That should do it. Actually, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, you know what, let's mix it up and do a sapling. Uh, this is a normal tree, this is a pine, this is going to be a sapling. First, grow your sapling. Bing! There you go. Alright, next, you want to dig one spot just uh, from underneath the tree. This will make sense in a second. And you want to do this in a square pattern. So this would be right about here. And uh, as with all good constructions, you want to measure twice, cut once. There we go. And you notice I made a square pattern. This isn't necessary. Uh, in fact, there, yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, do that real quick. If you can run water and uh, it not spill over from the top of the tree, that's what you want. So, it will not spill. See? Won't spill out. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Because we want floors in this beast, we're going to get rid of this area right here. Even underneath the tree. Oh my god, cow. You, you are asking for it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stop mooing at me. We got our area for our floor. Yay. And you place your lava. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no! Duck! Duck! Anyway, that looks pretty good right there. You want to wait until it's all the way at the bottom and flowing nicely underneath. Very cool. Remember, lava is dangerous. Be careful. Don't breathe this in. Ah, God! What do I done? Get rid of the lava. I can't, so I will... Do it this way, and then quickly place your water. Now, obviously, this water is going to not get everything exactly, but it'll get most of what you need. Every time I've done this, there's always a little bit of lava left over, so just be careful. Oh, speak of the devil. Um, no, that's... Oh god, I'm the worst firefighter. Uh, there we go. Am I on fire? I'm immortal and I'm on fire. Ah, oh, god. Now I know what Duncan McCloud felt like. And voila! I... Voila! Another fine ruins. Now you can do almost anything with these. Include, uh, build them up and, uh, renovate old ruins. But, uh, these are... These are ruins. Very cool. Let's do this bad boy with a pine. Voila! No, all we really need to do is just kind of set fire to everything else, you know? Burn! Burn! Yes! Burn! 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 You know what they say, power corrupts, and absolute power is is just really great. <laughs> All right, my ruined village is uh, coming up very nicely. Who knows what kind of ruins these are, or what kind of people they uh, they used to be. Oh, uh, look, they've uh, mastered floating stone technology. Very cool. All right, folks. Well, try this out for yourself. Uh, if you're afraid to do it in your uh, in your survival map, that's okay. Try it out on creative first really fun. All you really need is a sapling, lava, water, and bone meal. And, uh, a certain wariness of lava. You guys have fun. Yeah.
that's gonna burn nice. Interesting to note that uh, apparently lava and water can make smooth stone. Neat. Nifty. 